high. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to analyze the impact of any categorical variable on any non-categorical variable. So this is a model in smart class 2. OP is our dependent variable. And it is uh, perception about politics in the organization. And we want to examine whether gender affects this variable or not means we want to examine the impact of gender on OP. Gender is categorical in nature. And how to do it? First, we need to create a dummy variable and then bring it into modules and then run the model. And how to do it? Just go to our data set. So here we see gender is our categorical variable here. So with two quotes, one and two, one is for male and two is for females. As a dummy variable concern, dummy variable has two values, either zero or one. So let's convert this variable into a dummy variable. So go to menu bar and click transform, then click here, create a dummy variables. And add the variable here. So the gender is the variable of interest, bring it here. Let me type it gender. So here we go. So here we see in our data set, a new variable has been created here. So let's check whether it has two values, 0 and 1 or not, no. It has two values, 1 and 2. So it's not a dummy variable. Dummy variable must have values like 0 and 1. So let's examine what went wrong. So the variable we see here, so let's examine its nature. So the measure is scale. Let's convert it into nominal. Then rerun the process. Go to transform and then create dummy variables. Now this time we see we have two new variables here. One for male and second for females. Let me write here. Male and then female. So let's check whether these two variables have values of 0 and 1 or not. Yes. So the both have values 0 or 1. Right? Now we are ready to transport this data to smart PLS. Go to file, then save as and then comma delimited CV, CSV file. Save. So go to smart PLS here. So let me first remove the old data set and bring the new ones. But before it let me check the names. Yes, they are there. So import the indicators here. So here we go. So you see here, so new data set is having variables like female is here and male is here. Right? Now how to run the analysis? First what we need to do is we need to create a new variable here, new construct here. So let me rename it. So gender and then bring the indicator either male or female here and load it here on the gender and then add the arrow here. Now run the analysis. So calculate algorithm. So you see here. So the impact is minus 0 0.0, minus 0 0.0566, this small one. Let's see whether it's significant or not. So 
calculate then bootstrap and then let me make the samples small so that they should complete early otherwise ideally so this number should be 5000 or more So here we go. So you see it's less than 1.96. So that means it's not significant. So what does it mean? So perception about politics in the organization is not sensitive to gender type. So that's the way how you create the dummy variables and run the analysis. Let me also add here, if say for example the uh, categorical variable has multiple options typically like the education if the education is having four or five types levels so how to do it so same way you do it here so transform then create dumb variables and then education then we bring it back here so edu levels So let's see it here. So again, it's create only one. Okay. So that means same problem is here also. So let's create a nominal one. Then rerun the process. Yeah, here we go. So what we can do now? So now we have four different indicate indicators so we can check the impact of any level from one to four the same way we did it in the case of the gender thanks for watching